What's up everybody and welcome back in another tutorial. If you have a 3D resin printer, just like I do, I just received my Elego Mars Pro today. So to cure your 3D resin parts, uh, you need UV light. Uh, you can use the sun, but the sun isn't always there. So we are going to create this cheap but effective UV curing bucket. And here you can see all the materials that we are going to use today. And I will show you that this will be under 15 bucks to create this. So let me walk you through all the materials that you need. I got some old silver chrome spray laying in a while that I will be using to cover up the inside. Um, if you don't have this, you can use aluminum foil. I guess everybody got this. And this will give you more reflection of the UV lights. I will be using isopropyl alcohol to clean out the inside. And again, if you don't have this, you can use normal soap and some household vinegar to clean out the inside. And here you have the UV LED strip. You got the power supply. It's a 12 volt power supply. And also the connector to connect the LEDs with the supply. And of course, here you have the bucket that I found in my cheap Home Depot. It costs around two bucks and it's big enough to put my uh, printed parts in there. I have a normal size 3D resin printer, so everything should fit perfectly in there, not a problem. And if all goes well, this will even cost you 50 bucks to create your own UV curing bucket. So first we are going to prime the inside with this silver chrome spray. And once that is cured, I'm going to put the LEDs on the inside of the bucket in a spiral upwards way. So let's get started. So here you have it everybody, your own DIY UV curing station. I will put a link down below for the materials that I use. Mostly it will be for the LED and the power supply. I've used a waterproof LED strip because you have that uh, transparent protection and just to make sure I don't cause a short circuit. Otherwise you can use everything that you got at hand. But as promised, this whole setup didn't even cost me $15. And that was the whole point. 
Another advantage of using a, a round bucket is that you don't need a motorized uh, display stand that rotates because the LEDs are spread on the inside evenly anyway, so another cost saver. Hope you liked this uh, little tutorial. More videos will be coming up, like unboxing my first resin printer. That's why I need this uh, UV curing station bucket, whatever you want to call it. With that being said, we are at the end of this video. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, put them down below. I will be happy to answer them. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any new videos. So that's all for today. See you all in my next video. Dear Armabel, this signing out.